Senator from New Mexico. Uh, Mr. President, I want to start uh, by thanking uh, Senator Tom Udall, our senior senator from New Mexico, for the incredible amount of work and really the years of advocacy and attention that have gone into uh, many of the portions of this land package that he just described. Uh, without his leadership, without his partnership, uh, we would not be celebrating this opportunity today. I, I rise today to celebrate the landmark conservation measures that we are about to vote on here in the U.S. Senate. As a senator from a state that proudly calls itself the land of enchantment, I know how much our public lands mean to New Mexicans. These are the places where generations of families have gone to explore our natural wonders and to learn about our rich history and our incredible culture. Hunting and fishing, hiking and camping on our public lands are quite simply part of our, our identity in the state of New Mexico. And this relationship with our land and our water, it's fundamental to who we are. These activities also fuel a thriving outdoor recreation economy that supports nearly 100,000 jobs in New Mexico alone. Nationwide, outdoor recreation generates nearly $900 billion of consumer spending each year and directly supports more than 7 million American jobs. Think about that, 7 million American jobs. And that's why I fought to pass this legislation that will open additional access and create recreation opportunities on our public lands to support this important part of our economy. I want to commend our chairman, Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, our ranking member, Joe Manchin of West Virginia, and our former ranking member, Senator Maria Cantwell of Washington. Uh, we are, to say the least, going through a frustrating political era here in Washington. And there just don't seem to be many things we can agree on these days. But the package of public lands and conservation bills that we are now considering on the floor reflects Chairman Murkowski, Ranking Member Manchin, and Senator Cantwell's leadership. It demonstrates their willingness to put aside partisan rancor and do the hard work required to build bipartisan consensus. I am proud that we're moving forward to pass these bills that have earned broad bipartisan support in our committee to conserve our public lands, to create new outdoor recreation opportunities, and to build on the success of our nation's most effective conservation programs. I want to quickly highlight some of the incredible victories in this bill for New Mexico. First and foremost, I am so proud that we are passing two bills to advance the community-driven conservation visions for New Mexico's two newest national monuments, the Rio Grande del Norte and the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks. From the tops of Cerro de la Hoya and Ute Mountain to the depths of the Rio Grande Gorge, the Rio Grande del Norte National Monument in northern New Mexico is one of the most spectacular landscapes on Earth. The historic monument designation for the Rio Grande del Norte was the direct result of tireless efforts of the local community who were dedicated to protecting this area for future generations. And they worked for decades to do just that. The legislation we're voting on establishes two new wilderness areas within this monument the Cerro del Utah Wilderness and the Rio San Antonio, San Antonio Wilderness. By designating the most rugged and unique habitat in Rio Grande del Norte as wilderness, we can protect the monument's natural heritage for our children and for generations to come. And we are doing the same thing for southern New Mexico's Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument. Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks is incredibly rich in cultural and natural history. It includes six stunning mountain range. This is the very well-known Oregon Mountains, uh, whose profile is known by everyone who has ever visited or lived in southern New Mexico. But it also includes the Robledos, 
the East Patrios, the West Patrios, the Donianas, and the Sierra de las Uvas. The Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks Conservation Act that Senator Udall uh, sponsored and that I have co-sponsored and that we have worked together on for all these years will safeguard sensitive cultural, historical, and natural treasures in this monument. And wilderness designation for several of the most rugged and unique areas in the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks will promote the monument as a world-class backcountry destination. President Obama based his 2014 National Monument designation on the legislation in introduced by Senator Udall and myself. But as with the Rio Grande del Norte, only Congress has authority to create additional federally protected wilderness. We can now assure permanent protection for the wildest places within the National Monument, including the Oregon Mountains, but also the Patrios, the Uvas and Robledo Mountains, as well as Aden Lava Flow and Broad Canyon. I want to express my deepest gratitude to the diverse coalition of stakeholders from throughout our state who worked for decades to make Rio Grande del Norte and the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks monuments a reality. From tribal leaders to local elected officials, sportsmen, ranchers, land grant heirs, Asequia Parciantes, small businesses, conservation groups, so many New Mexicans came together work together to make this possible. And I especially want to again thank my colleague, the senior senator from New Mexico, Tom Udall, and our former senator, Jeff Bingaman, for their leadership and their partnership in getting this over the finish line. These two monuments protect places that New Mexicans have long recognized as national treasures in their backyards. And once we pass this legislation, we will put a capstone on years of work to make these monuments national models of community-driven, landscape-scale, public lands conservation. I have no doubt that future generations will be grateful for what we are voting on here. And speaking of future generations, I'm also pleased that this public lands package includes my bipartisan bill, the Every Kid Outdoors Act. I, I want to thank Senator Lamar Alexander of Tennessee for joining me as the lead Republican sponsor of this bill. The Every Kid Outdoors Act will allow every fourth grader in America to visit our nation's national parks, our national forests, our national wildlife refuges and public lands free of charge and to bring their families along with them. Many of you might not know that long before I became a senator, one of my first jobs in New Mexico was as the executive director of Cottonwood Gulch Expeditions, a 90 plus year old experiential education organization that takes children and adults out into the backcountry of our public lands. Connecting kids to the outdoors can inspire a lifelong connection to conservation while reaping all the health benefits that go along with an active lifestyle. Some of my favorite memories are from my adventures on public lands with my wife, Julie, with our sons, Carter and Micah. And I want all kids to have those same opportunities to fall in love with our amazing public lands. Since 2015, the Department of Interior has offered fourth graders and their families free entrance to all federally managed public lands. I can't tell you how popular this program has become. And the Every Kids Outdoors Act codifies this effort into law and will encourage the creation of more educational opportunities for all of our kids on their public lands. I'm also so excited that we are encouraging a new generation of kids, a generation that will explore the rich natural and cultural history on display in our parks and forests and monuments. And after all, they are the future stewards of these special places that we all love. 
I also want to celebrate that we are voting to permanently reauthorize what I believe has been one of America's most successful conservation programs ever, the Land and Water Conservation Fund. In New Mexico, LWCF, as it's known, or the Land and Water Conservation Fund, has protected iconic landscapes like the Valles Caldera, Ute Mountain, and Valle de Oro without costing taxpayers a single dime. It's also provided for community projects like baseball and soccer fields, playgrounds and picnic areas. The broad support that LWCF has had from both Republicans and Democrats over the last half century is a testament to how well the program has worked all across this nation. However, despite our best efforts to save LWCF, congressional inaction allowed the program to expire last year. I am proud to say that once we pass this package, we will no longer need to worry year after year about renewing this incredibly successful program. Now LWCF funds can continue being put to work protecting drinking water, providing public land access, funding our neighborhood parks. And finally, I'd like to express my gratitude once more to Chairman Murkowski for working with me to advance provisions in this package to improve public access on our public lands. Many pieces of the Sportsman Act are included in this, and I'm especially pleased that we are passing my legislation, the Hunt Act, which will improve access to public lands wherever hunting and fishing and outdoor recreation are permitted. And with that, I'd like to encourage all of my colleagues to support this bipartisan package of bills. I am confident that they will grow our outdoor recreation economy, they will promote access to our public lands, and support the sustainable use of our natural resources. What we are voting on will go a long way towards ensuring that the outdoor places that we all treasure will be protected for future generations of Americans to enjoy. Mr. President, I would uh, note the absence of a quorum and yield the rest of my time. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander.